The mountain had learned to synchronize major eruptions with storm cloud cover, creating natural camouflage that rendered traditional monitoring systems useless. This represents a fundamental shift in volcanic threat assessment. For 2,000 years, Mount Etna's eruptions provided visual warnings, spectacular displays that gave communities time to evacuate and emergency systems time to respond. The November event shattered that protective framework. Communities surrounding Etna now face systematic targeting by an invisible enemy. Emergency evacuation protocols designed for visible threats cannot protect against ash weapons, weapons deployed under atmospheric camouflage. When volcanic systems can coordinate with weather patterns, civilian populations become sitting targets. The most chilling discovery is that this stealth eruption methodology is replicable. Any volcanic system with sufficient meteorological cooperation can now conduct surprise attacks on populated areas. When mountains start using weather as weapons against human settlements, how do evacuation systems adapt to invisible threats? And if Etna has mastered stealth volcanic warfare, which other volcanic regions are developing similar attack capabilities? For nearly three millennia, Mount Etna has served as humanity's most documented volcanic adversary. Ancient Greek historians chronicled its eruptions as divine spectacles, skyscraping fire fountains, glowing lava rivers carving new paths, and volcanic plumes visible across the Mediterranean. These historical outbursts operated on predictable rhythms. Visual cues foreshadowed major events, allowing communities to witness the mountains awakening through crater glow, billowing ash columns, and advancing lava tongues. Disaster responses hinged entirely on this visibility. For centuries, Etna's behavior was defined by spectacular visual displays, explains INGV Etna Observatory's Dr. Marco Ferretto Carlino. The volcano essentially telegraphed its intentions through dramatic geological theater. Etna's conventional assault tactics ran on foreseeable timelines. Summit eruptions provided four to six hours of warning through increased crater activity, while flank eruptions were preceded by detectable ground deformation and seismic swarms. Explosive blasts generated ash columns reaching three to 10 kilometers visible for hundreds of miles. Lava fountains created trackable displays that were easily filmed and photographed. Even the mountain's deadliest historical onslaughts preserved this visible pattern. The 1669 eruption threatening Catania gave weeks of escalating visual alarms. The devastating 1928 eruption that raised Mascali allowed evacuation based on observable lava advances. Etna always tipped its hand, notes INGV volcanologist Dr. Boris Benker. The system functioned like clockwork, accumulating pressure, flashing warning signs, then unleashing energy communities could monitor and react to. This predictability made Etna the ideal proving ground for volcano monitoring technology. The mountain hosts one of Earth's most advanced surveillance arrays, including more than 50 seismic stations tracking ground motion and around-the-clock thermal cameras for crater observation. Gas sensors detect changes in volcanic exhalations, while millimetre-scale GPS instruments monitor ground deformation. Satellites track heat anomalies and ash dispersal across the region. This monitoring framework was built entirely around Etna's historical behaviour. Visual data reinforced instrumental readings, ensuring consistency between observation and analysis. Communities received evacuation orders tied to observable volcanic activity, matching centuries of recorded norms. November 10th, 2024, obliterated this protective paradigm. For the first time in documented history, Etna unleashed major explosive violence while remaining totally invisible to conventional observation. 
Seismographs confirmed eruptive forces rivaling the mountain's mightiest past explosions. Monitoring networks detected subterranean fury equal to prior paroxysmal blasts that once produced spectacular visual fanfare. Yet dense storm clouds provided perfect camouflage for the volcanic assault. Dr. Salvatore Alperone of ING Fui said the seismometers were screaming. They registered massive subsurface explosions, but visual systems showed nothing. The mountain was waging full-scale war, shrouded by natural atmospheric cover. Ash began smothering Milo and Torre Archerafi with no apparent origin. Residents reported black particles raining from seemingly clear skies. The volcanic debris wasn't emanating from observable fire fountains or visible plumes, it was being deployed via invisible atmospheric conduits. This signified systematic exploitation of weather for maximum population impact. Storm clouds that had historically shielded communities from volcanic observation were now being weaponized to cloak volcanic strikes. Analysis revealed sophisticated synchronization between volcanic and atmospheric processes. Etna had adapted to coordinate major explosions with dense storm systems, forging natural camouflage that rendered traditional monitoring obsolete. The timing wasn't chance. Meteorological conditions that morning offered ideal concealment for volcanic maneuvers. Multi-level storm clouds formed a three-dimensional hiding apparatus, masking explosive activity from visual detection while enabling ash dispersal through invisible atmospheric channels. Dr. Daniele Andronico, ash specialist at INGV, explained that the volcano exploited meteorological layering for stealth operations. Dense low clouds provided eruption camouflage, while upper conditions facilitated ash transport to populated zones. The event exposed critical flaws in volcano monitoring technology. Systems oriented around visible activity became useless when Etna demonstrated invisible warfare capabilities. Visual cameras detected no anomalies despite massive underground violence. Thermal satellites could not penetrate storm systems to identify explosive heat signatures. Ash tracking models required visible plumes to predict dispersal. Emergency protocols assumed visual cues would precede wide-scale threats. Dr. Stefano Branca, director of the Etna Observatory, said, our entire monitoring edifice relied on dangerous activity being observable. When the mountains synced with weather for concealment, our technological edge evaporated overnight. Ash fallout patterns revealed systematic population targeting. The eruption didn't randomly scatter debris. It delivered ash with precision to specific communities while sparing unpopulated areas. Milo and Torre Archirafi suffered focused bombardment, while rural expanses between them remained largely untouched. The volcano had attained selective targeting capabilities through atmospheric coordination. Wind analysis showed natural currents alone could not explain the precision zeroing on population centers. Etna had learned to harness meteorological conditions that vectored ash toward human settlements. The event marked a volcanic evolution, from a passive geological hazard to an active systematic threat. Etna developed abilities that transcend traditional behavior. Climate change is accelerating this transformation. Increasing storm frequency expands opportunities for eruption cloaking. Shifting atmospheric patterns open new channels for ash weapon delivery to populated zones. One risk specialist at INGV, Dr. Giuseppe De Natale, warned that we are witnessing the rise of atmospheric volcanic warfare. When geological systems synchronize with weather for strategic advantage, traditional disaster response becomes extinct. The stealth strike methodology pioneered at Etna can be replicated by any volcanic system with sufficient meteorological cooperation. Nearly one million inhabitants around Etna saw emergency evacuation protocols rendered obsolete on November 10th. Procedures designed for visible volcanic menaces cannot protect against invisible ash weapon deployment. Conventional, eva conventional evacuation triggers require visual confirmation, while alert systems depend on observable crater changes, lava flows or visible ash plumes. When volcanoes coordinate with atmospheric camouflage, these frameworks collapse.
Civil protection authorities found evacuation timetables built on outdated assumptions. Warning windows computed from visible escalation became meaningless when mountains achieved strategic surprise. Sicilian civil protection chief Dr. Salvo Cassina concedes that our models presumed hours or days of visual alerts. When volcanoes achieve surprise through synchronization with the atmosphere, civilian populations become defenseless. Infrastructure engineered around predictable eruption patterns cannot withstand systematic invisible assaults. Catania Fontana Rossa Airport relies on visual monitoring that cannot detect camouflaged ash threats until engines fail. Roads, railways and transit systems lack protocols for unseen ash fallout. Hospitals designed for traditional volcanic emergencies cannot handle surprise inhalation crises. Telecom broadcast systems requiring visual confirmation become ineffective against stealth ash deployment. Power grids engineered for predictable ash loads collapse under no warning debris. Sicily's 2.8 billion euros. Tourism economy depends on volcanic risk being manageable through visibility. Invisible eruption warfare annihilates this foundation. Tour operators cannot guarantee safety when ash strikes materialize without warning. Hotels, excursions and recreational activities become uninsurable. Agricultural regions suffer systematic targeting as ash steered toward population centers devastates crops and poisons soil through invisible vectors. Aviation faces catastrophic vulnerability. Aircraft cannot detect camouflaged ash until damage occurs. Insurers cannot calculate risk when eruption hazards transcend observable norms. Over 600 million people worldwide live near active volcanoes relying on visual monitoring for early warning. The Etna stealth strike methodology threatens every populated volcanic region. In Italy, three million residents near Vesuvius, Etna and Stromboli are potential targets. Japan has 12 million people living near active volcanic systems, vulnerable to eruption concealment masked by monsoons. Indonesia has 140 million people near volcanoes who face surprise attacks enabled by tropical storm coordination. The Philippines has 25 million people exposed to typhoon veiled volcanic warfare. In the United States, Pacific Northwest, 3 million people near the Cascades face storm coordinated concealment risks. Iceland's critical air routes could experience covert ash deployment via Arctic tempests. Climate change is accelerating volcanic evolution toward invisible combat. Intensifying storm activity multiplies eruption masking opportunities. Shifting atmospheric configurations create novel delivery pathways for ash weapons. Rising global temperatures strengthen storm complexes, providing concealment. Increased atmospheric moisture yields denser cloud cover for cloaking operations. Climate amplified weather enables increasingly sophisticated coordination between geological and atmospheric forces. Dr. Alessandro Bonacorso, a defamation expert, warns that we are entering an era of atmospheric volcanic warfare. Conventional disaster readiness expires when mountains sink with supercharged weather. Earth attacks is your early warning system for next generation threats reshaping our world. Subscribe and turn on notifications to stay ahead of the geological insurgency. Like this video if you believe global leaders must confront the reality of invisible volcanic warfare. The November 10th Etna event was not an anomaly. It was a preview of a hostile climate volcano alliance that shatters long-held assumptions of safety near volcanoes worldwide.